Today, we're gonna to touch on a question many new cup users have or cup curious people have, and that is, can you actually sleep in a menstrual cup? Let's talk about it. Welcome or welcome back to the Best Period channel. My name is Gainette Jones, I'm the founder and CEO here. And today we're gonna to get into the topic of sleeping in menstrual cups and how to ensure you have a leak-free sleep in them. If this is your vibe, if you have a vagina and you want to learn all things vaginas, menstruation, and menstrual cups, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll get weekly tips just like these ones. Okay, so first things first, yes, you can sleep with the menstrual cup in, a bit of a spoiler alert for the rest of this video. However, we're getting into a bit more than that. We're going to talk about why they're great to sleep in, but the majority of this video is going to be spent teaching you how to ensure you have a leak-free sleep with them in. So the great thing about menstrual cups is that you can wear them for up to 12 hours. Unlike tampons, which you're actually told not to wear at night. And unlike pads, it holds a lot more. So while pads absorb your blood, menstrual cups collect it. And this one right here, which is my best period cup in size two, can actually hold eight times the amount of your regular regular pad. Pretty dope, right? Also, something you may want to know is that according to the CDC, many femcare products are known to have some harmful substances in them, such as carcinogens, allergens, and reproductive toxins. And you don't want that while you're sleeping, boo. So now that we've covered that you can indeed sleep in menstrual cups, and because you now know it can suffice to hold your bleeding during the night, what we're gonna talk about now is how to ensure that it's a leak-free sleep. So one thing that I recommend if you're new to using menstrual cups is to sleep with a pad. You already likely have them in your bathroom anyway because you still have some from last month, right? So I recommend that you use it until you feel more comfortable with creating a leak-free seal. However, I wanna teach you how to create that leak-free seal. So let's talk about that. So as you put your menstrual cup in, you know that you have multiple folds. You have your C fold, which is folded in half in the shape of a C. You also have your push down fold, which is just as it sounds, holding it down, pushing it. So you're inserting your cup, whichever fold you choose to do. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video all in the different folds. And I'll also link up here to a video I already did teaching you how to do the two folds in the menstrual cup 101 video. But you have your menstrual cup in. The problem is some people may leak if they do not insert it correctly. So what you wanna do is ensure the rim is fully opened because as you can imagine, if it is turned down in one piece, then you're allowing the blood to trickle on the side. What you'll do is just put your finger in, clean fingers, make sure they're clean, and ensure there's no dents in the rim of the cup. So you can do that by either touching the, for the rim of the cup or you can simply press against your vaginal walls which would ensure that the cup is fully open and is safely secured. And just to provide yourself with more confidence, you'd want to change your menstrual cup or put in the menstrual cup, I should say, just before you go to bed. So maybe when you get your shower at night. That's an easy breezy solution because you're in the shower, you have the cup, you're, it's already lubricated because you're in the water and you can just pop it in. And one thing I want to touch on before I wrap up this video is that your cup cannot get lost. Your vagina on average is two to four inches. Most people have three to four inch vaginas. And I know you may be like, yeah, no, that's not true, but your vagina actually lengthens when you're aroused. Whole nother topic. However, that's the size of your vagina. At the top of your vagina, even if it were seven inches long, at the top of your vagina is something called a cervix, which is this thing right here. Feels like the tip of your nose. Your cup cannot go beyond that. So even if you do have a high cervix, your cup will not get lost because it cannot go beyond that point. It's not gonna be sucked into your body, right? So the next morning when you go to remove your cup, what you wanna do is feel for the cup. You can either feel for the stem, and once you find it, you can pinch the base and pull it down slowly, keeping it upright. The other option is to put your finger up a little higher and press against any part of the cup because it's gonna break that seal. At the top of menstrual cups are little holes that act like little vacuums, which create a suction to your vagina. And when you press on your cup in any spot, what it's gonna do is release that suction that's at the top created by the rim, which makes it easier for you to pinch the base and pull it down. So there you have it. Yes, you can sleep in a cup. And in order to prevent leaks, what you're gonna do is ensure that 
The rim is completely opened and you do that by running your finger along the rim or pressing against your vagina walls to ensure that the cup has a chance to fully open. And then you want to tug on the stem a bit too. I didn't mention that, but you could tug on the stem afterwards just to make sure that the suction is in place. In fact, let me show you this from another angle. So this is what your cup will look like inside of your vagina. This pink thing will act as your cervix. That is your cup. This is the opening for your vagina and you see it sitting right there, opened against the walls. What you'll wanna do is just pull on the bottom, tug on the stem to ensure that it is properly secured and you're good to go for up to 12 hours. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you were ever worried about sleeping in a menstrual cup below in the comments and we'll chat next time.